Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you how we solve log equations where we've got terms with different bases in the logs. As you can see in this example here, we've got the log of 4 in base 9 plus the log of x in base 3, and it equals 3. So, different bases here, base 9 and base 3. And if you've been watching my earlier videos in this series on solving log equations, you'll know that we've got to change them to the same base. So, how do we do this? Well, there is an identity that we can call upon. It's the log of any number n in base a is identical to transforming it to another base, say base b, but it turns out to be the log of that number n in base b divided by the log of a in base b. Now I'm giving this to you without any proof, but if you want to see the proof of this, I've got this in another video in this series. All I want to do is show you how we can use it. So, when we get an equation like this then, we can either choose, say, to change this term into logs in base 3, or take this term and change it into logs in base 9. So, I'll do both versions for you, so you can compare the methods. At any point, you might even want to just pause the video and have a go yourself. So, let's start then by taking this first term here. I'm going to change it to base 3. So, if we do that, then the n is the 4 and the a is the 9. So, if I change it to base 3, this is going to be the log in base 3 of 4 divided by the log in base 3 of 9. Okay? Then we just copy that term in, so it's plus the log in base 3 of x, and that equals 3. But we should recognize this denominator here. It's a nice result. Let's just say, but the log of 9 in base 3, what is it? Well, it's got to be 2 by definition. The base 3, 3 to the power 2, 3 squared, gives us that number 9. So, if there's a 2 in the denominator here, I'm going to want to get rid of that fraction. So, what I'm going to do is multiply through by 2. And if we do that, we just have the log in base 3 of 4 plus, and then this is going to be 2 log in base 3 of x, and then 2 threes a 6. Now, before we can group these two log terms together, we've got a value in the front of the log here, so we've got to take it up. That'd be the log in base 3 of x squared. So, we'll just put that in as the log in base 3 of 4 plus the log in base 3 of x squared, and then that equals 6. And now I can use the addition rule for logs, which is the same as the log in base 3 of 4 times x squared. So 4x squared then. And that's going to equal the 6. So if I anti-log this, we've therefore got 4x squared equals the base 3 to the power 6. And if I divide through by 4, we get x squared equals 3 to the power 6 divided by 4. And if you square root this result, you end up with x equaling 3 to the power 3 over 2. In other words, 27 over 2. Okay, so that's one way of doing this. Now I did say that there's another way that we can go about this one. So Let's just put the equation down again. And in this one, we're just going to look at the second term, that is this one here, the log of x in base 3. And we're going to convert everything to base 9. So if that's the case, we'll just take that first term again. We've got, therefore, the log of 4 in base 9 plus, and converting this into base 9 through this formula here, this is going to be the log in base 9 
of x and that's divided by the log in base 9 of 3 and that's going to be equal to the 3 there. Now with this version in the denominator here the log of 3 in base 9 that's a standard result okay a nice simple one let's just put it in here but the log in base 9 of 3 what's it going to be? Well it's going to be a half because 9 to the power half square root of 9 in other words is equal to the 3. So therefore what we've got then is the log of 4 in base 9 the log of 4 in base 9 plus now if we divide this by a half we end up with 2 times the log in base 9 of x and that's going to equal 3 and again if we just remove the 2 there first of all using the power rule for logs we've got the log in base 9 of 4 plus the log in base 9 of x squared and that's going to equal 3. We can group these two logs together by the addition rule for logs giving us the log in base 9 of 4x squared and that's going to equal 3. And this reduces down to 4x squared must have been equal to the base 9 to the power 3. Divide both sides by 4 and you get x squared equals 9 cubed divided by 4 and then if you take the square root to both sides here you end up with exactly the same result as we had before x equals 27 divided by 2. So I hope that's given you some idea then how we go about using this change of base identity when you've got equations containing logs then in different bases.